Do redheads really steal souls? I had one steal mine once. Very unfortunate. Your thoughts? <sighs> to be answering your lovely questions about being a redhead. So let's jump right into it. And we will start with what the real Corky asks. Do you have the usual high function thought process? Most redheads get bored easily. Uh, I mean, like I definitely get bored easily, but I attribute that more to having like ADD. Uh, and just having a very short attention span. Um, I don't know that that's a redhead thing, but if if it is, then it's a good excuse to just, you know, have that sort of issue. Because for the most part, I just tell people I have ADD. Anyways, okay, next one. We have, were you always <laughs> get the love as a kid? Because redhead kid tend to be victim of bullying because of their looks. So what I think we're going for there is, was I bullied as a child? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, what child isn't bullied? Um, especially somebody that, you know, is a minority. Um, and I certainly was. Uh, so some of the things that people used to call me was, you know, of course, like carrot top. Um, there was actually a point in high school that I started dyeing my hair blonde because I was just so sick of people saying stuff about me having red hair and saying that, you know, it was weird that I had freckles and, you know, all those good things. So yeah, definitely bullied. Um, wasn't something that I embraced until I was well into my twenties. Okay, so J. Gerard Photography asks, is it true that redheads have bad tempers? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you ask me, yes. Actually, what's really funny is that whenever I was like really little, my parents used to have a nickname for me that was Gigi, which was short for grumpy girl or grouchy girl. Um, and I was always mean to my older brothers and I don't really know why <clears throat> I was just thinking about that earlier, actually. Um, you know, they would do something stupid and I would just kind of be like, oh my God, you guys are so dumb. Uh, not really like that now. Um, but do I still have a bad temper? Yeah. Sometimes I'm, I'm trying to work on that. It's definitely something that I, I go to therapy for. Uh, okay. So then we have... As a redhead, stop licking my laptop. <laughs> As a redhead, do you have an aversion to bright light? Uh, yeah, but it's not really um, just a redhead thing. I don't think. Um, I think I read somewhere along the lines that people with like light colored eyes um, have like a natural aversion to bright lights. Um, I'll see if I can find that and post it here somewhere. But I don't think that that's like specific to just redheads. I think maybe because we're more likely to have like, like colored eyes, maybe. But generally speaking, um, I don't think so. <clears throat> wow. Okay. My allergies have been so bad recently. Probably because I'm back up in Pittsburgh and I'm just allergic to being here. Okay, next we have, why are redheads so mesmerizing? I don't know. I guess because we're rare. I guess because the fiery hair just kind of stands out, right? Um, <laughs> My girlfriend, Jenna, asked, why am I such a badass? Okay. Well, Jenna, you see, it's the red hair. All right, Richard asks, what my favorite sunscreen is. <laughs> uh, probably whatever one is within the closest range to me uh, whenever it's sunny and I forgot to put sunscreen on. 
Um, honestly, I don't have a specific favorite. I like the one that smells like what you think a beach smells like. Like that kind of like coconutty sort of smell. That's like my favorite sunscreen. But I don't know that that's like a specific sunscreen. I just, I love that smell. Um, and then we get, do you get moments where other redheads come up to you and share sage redhead wisdom? I do. Um, I don't know that I've really ever had a redhead like come up to me and like share wisdom. Um, other than, you know, just the typical, like, are you wearing sunscreen? Uh, or, you know, just general conversation about like red hair. I do get a lot of redheads that like, it's kind of like being in a cult. Like you'll see another redhead walking down the street and you'll just be like, represent, you know, do get a lot of that. Do you ever feel negatively fetishized about being a redhead? Um, I would say not really. I mean, like, I know that there's some people that do find it off-putting to be fetishized, but, you know, it's, like, no different than me, you know, having a thing for, like, goth guys, right? Like, everybody has a type, so why would I get upset about that. It's, it is what it is. And like I said, I mean, I got a thing for goth guys. So is that a fetish? I don't know. Anyways. Okay. I got Josh Denny said, white hairs are infiltrating my beard. How long do I have to live before I go full Santa? I don't know, Josh, you'd have to tell me what your age was. I would say like, eh, well, I mean, we live forever, so you're probably good. Okay. Do redheads really steal souls? I had one steal mine once. Very unfortunate. Your thoughts? You know, I don't know. I feel like I don't, I don't even know how to answer that because I'm just going to go ahead and skip that because I really don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where that came from. Was that like from South Park? Like, I don't know where that whole redhead steel souls thing started or where it's going, but I just don't even know how to respond to that. So, um, how many times have guys asked you, do the carpets match the drapes? All the time. All the time. It's just, it's not even funny anymore. It's, it never really was funny, but, uh, I think the first time I heard that was in high school and I was so confused because some kids thought that they were being funny and I was just like, what does that even mean? Like, I don't get it, but I mean, obviously I do now, but it's not funny and it's quite stupid. If you ask me, I mean, I don't know. Do yours match? <laughs> it's common sense, right? Anyways. Okay. Thanks for sending in beautiful questions. I appreciate all of you. Um, if you want to be featured in the next one, be sure to send me in your redhead questions. And in the meantime, be sure to like subscribe, follow all those good things. And of course, join my Patreon if you like my content and want me to continue doing more. Because that's how a bish makes money. All right. Bye.